I'm I'm sorry. This game is just it's absolutely fucking shit. How's it going everyone? Bonza here. Um, I'm making a video today on another another No Man's Sky video. This isn't probably going to be what you expect it to be if you usually watch my videos. Now it's not often that I make a video where I am really unhappy with the game but sadly it's going to be one of them because I am so disappointed with this game. Um, it's going to be mainly a video of what I'm disappointed in. There's going to be a lot of other people's videos which are going to be disappointed with a load of different things. And Obviously, if you agree or disagree, feel free to leave you know, your comments in the comment boxes below. I'm just really, I don't know, upset with it, to be honest. I, this is a game that I've kept my eye on for quite a little while. Um, when it came out, everyone loved the idea of what the game sort of represented, but... I don't know, it's not hitting the nail on the head for me. Now, don't get me wrong, the graphics here look wicked, except for, for some reason the rendering starts playing up. I don't know why that's not been sorted. But it's just silly little things that, if I'm totally honest, every planet you go to, the only thing it really changes is the colour and what animals that go around. And that's about it. You can explore planets and find different things, but everything you find on the same one planet is probably going to be the same as you find on a different planet. It's just trying to find the language of a planet. Um, there's there's no real reason for you to actually do the stuff that you're doing, just maybe to have a look around, and you get bored quickly. Like you. I know that you can get big warp engines and stuff and you have to fill them as much as you get further on into it, but it just annoys me. It's just so many little niggly bits and pieces that really annoy me. Like, okay, I'm going to crash this ship. See, this is me trying to crash the ship. It's not possible. Why why they would not l allow you to do something like that in the game is beyond, beyond me. Any sort of characters that you find, like... There's no real interaction with them. It doesn't make any sense. The dialogue you read off from the characters or what, it just... It, no sense is made. You just see characters to trade things as, you would, as a terminal. So that's another thing straight away. It just doesn't have any sort of gist of what you're supposed to do in the game. There's nothing there. It just feels... In an, in an infinite universe of any planet you want to explore, it feels empty. It's probably the best way I could describe it. It feels empty. There's no real reason for you to be there. It's basically giving you a small ship. Off you go. And you can obviously buy more ships or get different weapons and stuff like that. But I really just don't see the point in it. Um... On a lighter note, they probably have stabilised the, um, on PC anyway, it looks like they've stabilised the, the, the graphic rendering for it. The graphic rendering seems a lot better than it was before. I mean, even with my 1080, this was jumping. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful game. It looks nice, except for the asteroids spawning in front of me. But it's it's pretty and that's it. If I'm totally honest, there's nothing There's nothing that's really grabbing my full attention. Like this isn't worth 40 quid in my eyes. This would be a happy tech demo from what I've seen so far. And I'm just really disappointed in it. Oh, for fuck's sake. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this other planet here and I'm going to give an example. I've just been to one planet, highly rated the 80 planet, that's fair enough. Like the, um, the planet surface is pretty much like every other single planet I've been to, except for one green planet that I went to. 
So I'm going to go to this planet here. I want to see what this is like and see what creatures I can find. Okay, here we go. Right, there's an abandoned building down here. I want to check that out. And if it's like any other abandoned building that I've seen so far, this is just an abandoned building. There's no massive thing you can do with it. There might be a few supplies around it. It's just, it's just, it doesn't seem that interactive, if you ask me. You fly from planet to planet to see the same things over and over again. And so many people are disappointed in this game, and I've seen so many reviews of people who are just full on disappointed. Anything that's been sold in this game is not here. I've been to about, I don't know, 15, maybe 20 planets at a push. And the creatures I've seen, compared to what you see in the trailers and all that sort of stuff, uh, do not warrant it, whatever, at all. I remember the hazardous planet. Border saying it's the exact same terrain of what I see, of what I saw, on the planet over there. So what am I here for? I know this is a full-on run. I do apologise, but I'm just annoyed with the game. Like, best way to bin forty quid. I'm not seeing that again. Let's have a look, see what we got. Right, so every building I've been to is pretty much on the same lines as every other build, any other building. It's just got a few bits and pieces in it you can see, and that's about it. There's no massive interest in it. Or some health. This one's obviously been knackered. It's about the third one I found like that. You get blueprints for things, fair enough, whatever. It's just not thrilling. I, I, I'm, un, I'm just, it's not gripping at all. I'm, I'm completely ungripped. There's no grippage in this situation whatsoever. That's it. There's no other reason why I should be here. Just a few bits and pieces that you tend to find on the planet surface anyway. That's it. There's nothing there. Except for a little save point. A waste of time. Why go here? I don't understand. It's... There's no... Most games let you have a little adventure. This is just a small house on a planet. Happy days. Mission complete. I don't know. There's a lot in this game that's really winding me up. There's a lot. And I, I'm going to guarantee you now this is going to be the last, the last video I'm going to do on this game. Because it's just been a waste of my time. And a waste of my money. Like, I can understand if some people like it. If some people like it, then obviously I enjoy it. Like, I'm, I'm happy for you. If, if this is all it's cracked up to be for you, then I'm glad you enjoy it and play it. Happy days. But there's a lot of people, including me out there, where this game has just not just not delivered what it said it was going to do on the box completely. I was reading through some of the reviews of the same people that felt the same way I did. Um, and there was a guy on there on, on reading through Steam reviews, and there was a guy saying that he had sat there and he'd put so much effort into it to get um, to try and get as far into it and try and submerge himself into the game as much as he possibly could and I think he played maybe 50 to 60 hours of gameplay just to try and see if he could you know get involved in the game get interested in the game oh fuck I can't take off and he he just after about 50, 60 hours, he was like, you know what, that's it, I'm not playing anymore. Because he, he felt the exact same way that most of us are feeling anyway. He just could not get involved with the game. It's the same thing over and over again. Animals that he'd seen were just non-interesting compared to what they were releasing in the trailers. It was... Things aren't spawning in properly. There's loads of bugs in the game. It's just so much. And he was just uninterested in it, like I am. I've just become... The first initial point we've started playing, I was like, wow, No Man's Sky, it's here. I'm going to enjoy this game. It's going to be amazing. And after about an hour of playing it, I was just like, I'm just doing the same thing that I've done for the last hour. I hope this hurries up. 
And after a couple of days of playing it, I was just like, I'm not enjoying myself. I'm just really not enjoying myself. Playing this game, I'm just, just not enjoying it. And it was just no, I don't know. It's just, to be honest, in my eyes, this should have been classed as an indie game and sold at 15 quid on the Steam store. That's that. That's my personal opinion. Um, I mean, that is my personal opinion. If anyone agrees with me, feel free. If people don't, no, that's fair enough. I'm not saying, oh, this game's shit, never play it. If you enjoy it, or you like what you see, then go ahead. But for me, and a lot of other people out here, like, out on the internet, have just looked into this and gone, nah, sorry, it's just not. It's I, In my eyes, it's been completely missold for what it should be. And it's a lot more basic than people think it is. So, yeah, I'm a bit miffed. So a lot of other people. Let's see if I can find a planet that I've, I've already been here. I've been here. I've already discovered this. Yeah, these ships appear and you think, whoa, things are going to kick off. They do nothing. They just sit there. Nothing at all. I haven't seen them do anything. Maybe people have. I haven't. But... Right, new planet. I haven't discovered this planet yet, so I'm interested to see what's down here. I don't know if it'll be a green planet, because I've come across like one out of 15 planets who are actually green. But I'm going to fly down, I'm going to take a look, see what happens. I mean, as I said before, don't get me wrong, like, what a lot of the game is pretty, and the graphics ain't half bad. But, uh, it's just not, it's just, uh, to be honest, it's just, it's not gripping. Like I said before, I'm not gripped. I'm ungripped completely. Right. The main thing, the only reason I'm here is to have a brisk walk around to see if I can find any animals. Well, I found some. Not the big dinosaurs people thought they were. Uh, but they are getting quite pissy. Where's the big Tyrannosaurus Rexes and shit like that? Oh Christ. Oh, I found one of these 2001 A Space Odyssey things. That's all it does. That's all you find on planets. This is just not interesting whatsoever. Where's my ship? Alright. Literally found a couple of little animals that wanted to kill me, and that was it. This is all I found. And one of those little glow things, those little glow orby, like, sphere things that knocking about. That's all that's on the planet, so there's no reason for me to fly around except for like, another building down here. It'd be exactly the same like the other building I found on that other planet. There's no ulterior mission, there's no... It's just you were left to your own device to look through a procedurally generated galaxy which sadly has generated all the planets in almost, not almost the exact same way, but they work on the same rules. There's just nothing really there for you to do. It's just bollocks. Um, now, I'll tell you what, to be honest, this, this is what I'm going to do now. Because I'm I'm sorry, this game is just, it's absolutely fucking shit. No Man's Sky. Nah. I've had enough of that shit now. It's gone. Right, guys, if you like the video, uh, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, leave the comments in the, the, the comment section below. I really want to see what other people's reactions are to this game that everyone was really waiting for, and nothing came from it. Uh, I'm really unhappy. There's a lot of other people that's really unhappy as well. I, I, I was really looking forward to this game. I was even watching the countdown before it even got downloaded because I was excited to play it to see what it was like, and I was being really disappointed. So, I don't know if anyone's experienced the exact same thing, but if you have, drop a comment, I'll have a discussion with you. Um, and get other people's opinions on why this hasn't worked the way it should have worked. Um, but until next time, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.